Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to generate uh, dynamic images using the Stable Fusion API in bulk. And the tools we're going to use are Make, Airtable, and Stable Fusion. So before you get started, just to show you a little bit about what the prompting looks like, uh, it'll take some time to experiment with a prompt that you want to be able to use to get an image output that you find acceptable. But once you do, you'll basically take your text to image prompt and use that as an input configuration in Make. So to do this, we're going to load images for almost 200 items. These are all going to be web pages on our website. And we're really going to be using target keywords to create images. The idea is eventually we'll be able to create 200 dynamic web pages for each of these locations. So really what we're going to do is use this city name to generate an illustration to be used for the hero image content. So what it's going to do is it's going to search records individually that don't yet have an image in Airtable. It's going to make a request to the Stable Fusion API. And the most important part here is the prompt. So this prompt will be dynamically created based on the city name coming from the Airtable record and then all of our other settings below. Now the router is put in place because sometimes the stable diffusion API will return the image while the execution is still running. In which case, if it sees that the file is ready, the output file has been requested and, and passed through in the HTTP request, it'll be delivered here. And then we'll update that in the Airtable record immediately. If not, what we're going to do is we're going to put a sleep delay in and we're going to set that ETA based on the ETA of the completion time that the Stable Fusion API request is returned to us, and we're going to add a 30 second buffer. And then once that delay is complete, we're going to hit the fetch URL, which is given to us here during the initial request. And then once that image is requested, we're going to take the output, which is really going to give us the URL of the image again, we're going to insert that back into Airtable. It's really just two routes. If the image is ready, or oftentimes if the API is under high demand, it'll take up to a minute, which is what this sleep timer is put in place for. So you could run this at once, or you could schedule it. So anytime you're creating new content, it's automatically going to generate an image for you. And then these images will end up here. You can either render them as URLs or actually create attachments for them, which I'll show in a separate video. Yeah, right now we're gonna run this. Makes the request. The response comes back that we need to wait for the image completion. That's so gonna go through this route. It's gonna wait about About a minute, so 34 seconds ETA plus 30 second buffer time, and then make the fetch request and upsert the image link in our Airtable base.